I just can't believe it. Can't believe it's it's finally gone. All those memories. All that time with Nan and Grandad, and the house is now gonna be destroyed. Wow, it's already destroyed, I suppose. But anyway, let's uh, drop the tractor in. So uh, I prearranged a, a service uh, just to make sure it's okay. We're, we're gonna get on with some bits today. We're gonna get some jobs done. I'm, I'm quite excited actually. This is our first bit of farming uh, in Nan and Grandad's farm. But I just want to make sure it's okay. It sounds a bit tinny. Doesn't sound like it's running too well, to be honest with you. Um, it is quite slow, but to be honest, it is quite old. But yeah, I've spoken to the garage. They're going to uh, have a quick look at it. Got it booked in for about an hour or so, um, just to kind of make sure that it is running okay. The last thing I want to do is is blow this up the first time we lose it. That would not be very good at all. Um, yeah, it does need quite a bit of service. Definitely. It also needs a wash. I'll see if I can get them to throw a quick wash in as part of the deal. But just uh, just gonna pop in and see them a minute. Just let them know the tractor's there. I mean, I'm assuming they're just gonna pull it into that ramp there. Hmm. I've only just managed to get it fixed. Can't believe I'm giving it to someone else already. Right, let's go see what they say. Hey mate, it's just uh, it's Jack here, just dropping off the Zeta over there. Um, you're gonna have a look at it for me. Put it in for ten o'clock this morning. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit worse for wear. Doesn't look fantastic, but it's my granddad's pride and joy. So I want to get on with it. I'm, I'm gonna get it back on the farm, get it working again. Uh, I'm sure it can do it, but it's just a bit tinny. It, it needs a little bit of work. Um, a service maybe and just kind of see how you get on I guess and let me know I've got a little bit of money I'd rather spend the money and just make sure that it's it's done properly to be honest uh, if that's okay yeah no worries Jack not a problem yeah do us a favour though just pull it up onto that rub there for me Kenny um, just reverse it in though yeah no worries alright I'll um <laughs> Hopefully it starts two times in a row, but yeah, I'll turn it around and reverse it in, no problem. Yeah, Jack, just to let you know, I've uh, popped the reg into me computer over here. It's not MOT exempt, you know. That thing hasn't been mot for years. Now, I know it probably hasn't been used for years, but really, you just kind of drove it here to my garage. Uh, without an MOT, you, you're lucky the policeman over there is not sat in his car, because... He's a bit of a bugger around here. He, he's got a bit of a reputation. Um, do you want me to have a look at it and see if I can get a ticket on there for 12 months? Wow. I mean, I'll tell you what. If you can have a look at it and uh, let me know, I'm a bit concerned that that might be quite costly. So I've got a bit of money and, you know, I did say I wanted to do it properly, but to get an MOT on something that's probably not been used for the last four or five years. I would be a bit concerned. You have a look and just let me know. Um, but yeah, you know, ideally it needs an MOT. Um, I've got to drive it back as well, and uh, it looks like his, his car's parked right over there. It's got a bit of a thing for me as well, you know. I, I think he, he seems to quite like finding a reason to pull me over. So yeah, maybe it's maybe it's safe for some. And I don't even know if I feel confident driving it back now that you told me that. To be honest, uh, but yeah. That would be great. Have a look and just let me know. You got my phone number, haven't you? Anyway, you mentioned a uh, courtesy vehicle, courtesy car, or something like that. Um, you know, I've got a few things to get on with in the meantime. I know you're going to have this tractor here for a good hour or so. Um, what what car is it? What, which one can I borrow? Obviously, I'll return it when I pick the tractor up. Well, there's the problem. Unfortunately, our courtesy car is currently off the road, just waiting for some parts to be delivered, but I know we was going to lend it to you, but you can't drive it. I mean, that leaves me a little bit stuck, you know. That does leave me quite stuck. Is there anything I can do? I mean, you know, my farm's not really walking distance. I do need to get back. I need to start making preparations. I've got a heck of a lot of building work going on at the minute. Um... Yeah, that's not ideal. Is is there anything I can use? 
Yeah, yeah, of course there is. There is something we can do. Uh, listen, just go back out. Flip that tractor around, pop it back on the, the ramp there for us. And, uh, yeah, just, just as you leave that door again, just look to the, the left of this building here. And, uh, yeah, there, there's something there you can borrow. You're not going to need any keys, though. I don't need any keys. Well, that's interesting. God, I hope you're not stitching me up with a bike. I don't have very good history with that. Right, I'll get this track to spun around anyway. Right, we've just got to do as the man says. Oh, sorry, guys. So, we'll just spin it around to reverse it in. Steering lock on this tractor seems to be a bit better now, though, now that I've used it a few times. I mean, come on. At least let me reverse. God, what is wrong with all these people? Alright, let's get it up on there. So, interesting. You might need to get an MOT done. That does not sound good. Alright, let's just climb down off this ramp a minute. Wow, there it is. So, little service, bit of an MOT. We'll be back shortly. Right, now, what did he say? Just around here. To the left of the building. Oh no. Oh come on. Man. I thought I got away from this. At least it's newer. Doesn't look quite so unsafe. So uh, maybe this isn't a death trap. Maybe we'll be alright. Brilliant. Going backwards in the world. Anyway, stuff to do. So I think we're, while we're down this neck of the woods, we'll just uh, head over to Mr. Javaskis, just say hello. And uh, he did mention the other day he has some sort of mower, uh, which we could borrow. I mean, he tried to sell it to us for 500 quid. He's got a thing about selling stuff for 500 quid, that man. Uh, but I haven't agreed to that, to be honest with you, because given the state of most things that he tries to sell me, um, it's probably not a very good mower. But we'll have a look. Anyway, he said we can borrow it, so at least uh, at least have a little glimpse while we're down this area. Then uh, maybe if we can burn an hour or so, we'll grab the tractor and uh, head down, pick it up. We can probably get on with some grass cutting today, actually. Uh, the uh, the goats, it, it's been about a week or so since we've had those goats and they are getting through that grass. Um, it's nearly run out, so I need to do something, really. It's not quite fair on them. They're uh, growing away. Oh my god, this, this is bad. Oh gosh. I don't know how I've not fallen off this bike. Wow. Okay, I did it. Oh, that was a bit ropey then for a second. Oh, this is good though. I've not fallen off of it. I don't normally have a good track record with a bike. Now, where is he? Oh, he's over there. Right, let's go say hello. We're coming. Yoo-hoo! Ah, oh, brakes! Ah! Ah! Where am I? Oh no, whoa, whoa. Whoa, stay back, stay back. Oh dear, this is not the place I wanted to be. Alright, let's get off this damn bike. Oh. Ow. Alright, don't come too close. Do not come too close to me. Let's sneak out of here. I'm just going to leave that bike there for a minute. Oh my gosh. What the hell are you doing in there with them bloody balls? Oh, jeez. What do you mean? I come over to say hello to you. My Christ, I'm not in there with the bloody balls though, am I? Jeez. Christ, you, you're lucky you still got bloody legs. You are. They normally bloody feistier than that. Yeah, I know. Jesus, got the crap out of me, that did. Um, I mean, that bike, that bike isn't mine. I need to get it back. 
Can you help me disturb them just so I can uh, grab it before they do something to it? Yeah, all right, my aunt. Um, here, I'll give them some food over the other side over there. The buggers have come running at me. And you just run in and ave it over the side there real quick. Yeah, all right, no worries. Thank you. Wow, that was a wake-up call for the day, wasn't it? Cool. You are some silly bugger, you are. What the hell are you doing? What did you come in so bloody fast for? Come flying in there, you did like bloody speed of light. Wow. <laughs> I'm not very good at riding a bike, I'm not going to lie. And, uh, yeah, maybe I underestimated the brakes. It was a nice drive on the way down here. I didn't really have to use the brakes much first time I tried them. My Christ, boy. You're bloody worse than your granddad you are. Christ, even he wasn't as bloody stupid as you. Anyway, this bloody mower. 500 quid, I said, but you go have a look at it first. He's in that shed. Here, over there, look. I'll point, yeah? That first doorway you see over there, he's in there, he is. I do, thank you very much. I'll go have a look. Oh, God. All right, my knee. I do not like riding a bike. I do not like riding a bike. Let's have a... Oh my jeez. No. You want 500 quid for that? He's having a laugh. It doesn't even look like the wheels spin. I mean, if I can at least pull it out of here, I'll, um, I'll borrow it. And uh, I'll make out as if I'm considering it, but... 500 quid, having a laugh. Better off leasing something from the shop a bit newer, really. Alright, let's see if I can pull it. Come on. I mean, one of the wheels spins. One, one of the wheels spins, but the other one is completely seized up. But it is coming. It is coming. Let's try and get it out of this uh, doorway behind us. That thing looks ancient. That thing looks ancient. I mean, it, look, it looks like we've got to be sat on it as well just to use it. I mean, how am I going to drive the tractor? Yeah, all right, I pulled out the uh, shed there. We'll, we'll give it a go. I mean, for 500 quid, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was a bit newer than that. But I'll try it. I'll try it. And if it does a really, really, really good job, then we'll we'll come up with some sort of deal, but for a minute, just just let me have a go. Uh, problem is, I've just popped uh, Grandad Zeta into the the garage just to have a bit of a service, just to make sure it's all right. Because you know, I want to get busy with it, I want to get using it, but it sounds a bit tinny. It's not really been started for a few years, so um, just a precaution. The uh, mechanic there, the main man, he did say that it needs an MOT as well, which I never really considered to be honest with you, but. It's going to be there for a good hour while he has a look at it. So, um, you're going to have to leave the uh, mower there if that's all right for a minute, and then I will come back once I've got that tractor. Um, in the meantime, I mean, I've got a bit of a sore knee to be honest, but I'll have to ride the bike back to the farm and just get on some some chores, I guess. Um, but yeah, if that's all right, as long as you don't mind, I'll just leave it there. I mean, I don't, I've not left it in the way, but I just wanted to pull it out ready. Yeah. Why don't you bloody borrow one of my tractors and take it back to your farm? And then hopefully by the time you've done that and come back with my tractor, your knee might be better. And you can take that bloody piece of crap away. Yeah, that would be amazing if, if you were right with that. I promise I drive tractors better than I drive those. Um, and yeah, I kind of agree with you really. It's uh, it's not my ideal, ideal choice to spend money on, that's for sure. I hope I haven't ruined it, to be honest with you, though, because I think it belongs to the mechanic. God, I don't, don't have to pay for it because I've damaged it. It looks alright. It looks okay. Uh, anyway, which tractor can I borrow? The, the one that I drove the other day, would that be alright? Yeah, my beauty. You take that one, keys are still in that bloody ignition anyway. You never took them out, I don't think. You bloody left them in there. I ain't got energy to walk around there. Oh, I do. Alright then. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll, um,. And I'll take the mower back. Um, yeah, I'll see you in about, I don't know, about an hour. Thank you very much. 
Ideal. Right, so uh, at least in the meantime, while the tractor's being fixed, we can uh, drop that mower, if we call it a mower, drop that mower back to the farm. God, these guys look like they're getting on alright. Still noisy, but they do look a bit bigger. Looks like he's actually been looking after them now as well. They've got a bit of straw. Makes a change. I didn't even have any food last time we were here. Silly old bugger. Right, so, which way was it again? I'm sure it was down here. I just parked it up in this shed, I think. Oh, yeah, there we go. So we'll grab that. Tell you what, that might be quite handy to use at some point. Once we mow this field, we are going to have to find a way to pick it up. I don't really fancy doing it all with a wheelbarrow and a shovel. Okay, yeah, keys are in the ignition. I'm pretty sure I took the keys out and gave them back to him, you know. I think he's trying to blame me for something I didn't do. Anyway, let's uh, connect up that mower and uh, make the long drive back. Maybe, if we're cheeky, we could do a little bit of mowing with this tractor. Do you think he'll notice? I mean, it doesn't look like he's cleaned it in a long time anyway. I can't imagine he'll even notice. We'll see what the time is, to be honest. I kind of want to use the Zeta for the first job on the farm. I, I, yeah, I just think my, uh, my granddad will probably be a bit happier with that, to be honest. So, let's just drop it off. Anyway, we'll jump out now, connect it up, and then we'll... Um, make our way back to the farm. Wow, this tractor certainly got a bit more power and a better top speed than that Zeta. That was uh, far quicker driving back. Still took a while though, still a good 20 minutes, but at least we got here. I quite like this tractor actually. It's not bad. Still on the back alright? Yeah, it is. So, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to use this in the field with this tractor because for old time's sake I just want to get back to using the Zeta really just for my granddad but what I was thinking on the way here is let's use the tractor and the power it's certainly got a bit more power and uh, just try and chop down those bushes that are stopping us getting into that shed because then at least you know once the, the Zeta is all MOT'd up and fixed at least we'll be able to park it somewhere then so let's uh, we'll test it see how it does chopping down those bushes. Certainly it looks like the wheels are on C slightly as well now which is good. Alright I'll just pull this into position. Sure it is not easy to reverse. Okay there we go so it's up and running so I don't quite know what, what's been done to this but something in there has been jammed so it seems to work without anyone sat in the back and uh, I'm very glad of that because there's no way I could do both. But anyway, I mean, it sounds pretty sharp. It's making some uh, pretty good noises. So let's just see how we get on here. Let's pull forward. Will it take out these bushes? God, this thing is it's pretty savage, you know. It is pretty savage. Look at that. I'm impressed. Let's, um, let's see how we get on chopping out all of these bits on the side here. Wow. This is pretty good, you know. I won't tell him that, though. I ain't giving him bloody 500 quid for it. He's having a laugh. But, yeah. Old things are pretty good, aren't they? Old things do work. Just like that Zeta. Now, it's not it's not quite capable of chopping down a tree stump. Oh, yeah. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed, actually. Right, let's... um. Let's see if we can just disengage that motor. I don't really want to be chopping the tyres of the Range Rover. Which I am going to do. So let's... Uh, in fact, let's go back a bit. Let's go around the other side. Well, I am very impressed by this. So let's see how it gets on removing some of this as well. This is going to make such a difference. Could have done with this before we were wasting our time streaming. But then I suppose we never would have found the Zeta if we did that, so everything happens for a reason. But let's see how we get on here. Try not to hit that tree. Well, I am really impressed by that, you know. This thing is pretty impressive. 
I mean, look what it's done. And this was only, you know, 10, 15 minutes, I think. Very impressive. Very impressive. And it's still not 500 quid impressive, though. But, yeah. I mean, th this area feels pretty sizable now. Considering a couple of weeks ago, this was just entirely overgrown bushes and hedges and bits of chopped down tree and broken up tree. I mean, it was a bonfire. And now look at it. We'll have to shovel up all of that ash. I thought that would have washed away, but it didn't. We'll shovel it all up, level this out. I think, you know, in the future, some gravel. We can uh, make this look like a nice area. In actual fact, I might be able to um, sweet talk the builders just up the top here and uh, see whether or not I can have any rubble left over from the house destruction or uh, finishing off I should say because it's already pretty much destroyed let's just have a quick look and see how they're getting on I can hear stuff going on up here anyway there's a lot of noise coming from up here yeah standing around doing nothing that's about right that's about as busy as they get in it I think that's it they this will probably be the last time now. I mean, once they got in and done the structure and stuff, they said the walls and things wouldn't take long to come down at all. So it almost took them more time to set up all the fencing to stop anyone getting in than what it will to rip it down. So, shame. End of an era. But it's got to be done. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, uh... When the surveyor came last week at some point, he was, he kind of gave me some warning really that, you know, potentially the, the value of this land is going to decrease drastically without a property on it, especially if we lose that residential planning. So I am a bit worried. I don't know what to do. We haven't got the money to build a house. Definitely not got the money to be doing that. I do need to contact the, uh, the office, like the, the town hall. The place where I went when I first came to Valley Spring, uh, after the prison sentence, just to uh, sign over the farm in my name. I need to go in there and get some advice. Hopefully they got some citizens advice or something like that there. Because I am a bit concerned. I am a bit concerned. Alright, let's drop this tractor back to Mr. Travaskis. Here, yeah, I've popped your tractor back around the corner. Oh, right, my handsome. Here, did you get that mower going? Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of got it going. Yeah, I haven't used it for what I want to use it for. You know, I'm saving that for the Zeta, really, which uh, we're going to go and pick up at some point really, really soon. But um, it, it looks like it might be all right, actually. I do think, yeah, 500 quid's a bit steep, though. Don't be so bloody daft. Christ, that thing cost me six times that amount 30 years ago. Bloody probably worth more than 500 quid, that, you cheeky bugger. Yeah, I, I think you're still stuck in the 70s, if I'm honest with you, old man. Don't you bloody call me an old man. Jeez. That's it. I ain't telling Mrs. Travascus now. She ain't bloody making you a pasty, you cheeky bugger. Yeah, alright then. Well, listen, thank you very much for lending me the mower. Um, thanks for just uh, allowing me to pop it over to mine there with your tractor. Anyway, look, my knee's a bit better, so while I'm on a bit of a roll and my knee's not doing too bad, I'm going to take this death trap back uh, and pick up the Zeta and then get to work. So, uh, yeah, thanks very much. I'll, um, I'll catch up with you soon, I am sure. Okay, wonderful. Well, that didn't take us too long to get here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's still up on the ramp, but he did say it should be ready, so we'll just pop in, we'll pay the bill. I don't know how much this is going to cost us, it's going to be a few hundred quid I reckon. But it's legal, it's running much better, um, and it means that we can sort ourselves out and get some farming done on the farm. It is a farm after all. Right, let's park this back up where we found it. How bad is that scratch? Not too bad. How much do I owe you, bud? I don't know, mate. Call it 300 quid. That's pretty good, I think. 300 quid? 
Yeah, 300 quid. I mean, I expected it to be something like that, to be honest with you. Uh, what did you have to do in the end, then? Why well, just... Uh... Just climb underneath there, look, and you can have a look. So that underside there, I scraped off all the rust. Still little bits on there, you can still see them patches. But we got most of the rust off, and I've just given it a quick coat of some underseal. Um, just sprayed it on there. So, not the best job in the world, but got it through an MOT. You know, th this this thing is old. It's, it's really old, but I'm surprised. If your granddad is due, he did look after this. He did look after it. I've also done you a service. Uh, changed the filter, which we had in stock, luckily. Pretty common filters, to be honest, on these tractors around this area. So I did that, put some decent oil in there for you as well. So it, it's pretty sweet now. Um, I also give it a bit of a complimentary clean for you with the pressure washer outside. So it's looking much better. Sometimes you can't see through the dirt to get your MOT done. So I had to give it a bit of a wash. No, that's amazing. Honestly, you're an absolute star. Thanks very much. Here, look, I've got some cash on me. 300 quid. Yeah, thank you very much, bud. Brilliant. So he's just loaded it down for us as well. Yeah, he's, he's not done a bad job, actually, with uh, cleaning it. That looks much better. My granddad would be pretty happy with that so far. That looks pretty, pretty good. Um, He wasn't too fussed about it, about the, uh, the bike incident. I didn't actually tell him what I did, because it's a bit embarrassing. But... It's not his bike. They they just kind of keep it chucked around the corner there, to be honest with you, and uh, they just give it to people for a laugh. So, thanks very much for that, stitching me up with that thing. I should ask for compensation. Cheap bugger. Saw leg because of that. Right. Oh, that does sound sweeter, you know. Definitely sounds a bit sweeter. And uh, maybe just a decent clean would have uh, stopped it from squealing so much. Right, anyway, let's um, let's head back to the farm. Yeah, this is much slower than the other tractor. Oh my god, I feel like I can go sleep. But anyway, it's still looking nice and bright. We are uh, well into the afternoon now, kind of half one, two o'clock-ish, so we got a bit of time. Still some, some decent light, so let's just... Uh, Get on with this thing, connect it up, get straight into that field. Oh, I'm excited about this. So, uh, how's uh, how's Denzel and Gladys doing? Let's find out. Keep that running. We'll go see him. Oh, there she is, Gladys, running around in circles, and Denzel's over there. Here, yeah, Nan and Grandad. The Zeta's back and running. We're going to do our first bit of farming. Yeah, see, just got the uh, the sound of approval there. Let's get on with it. Oh, this feels great, you know. Driving around our own farmyard in a tractor. First bit of equipment. It's not ours. This, this is just really good. First field that we're working in. Right, let's head in this direction. No, I might just have to get out and just unhook that a moment. Okay, right, so I've just unhooked the blade. Just lay it down flat there, which is great. Let's uh, just engage this motor. Brilliant. Well, it runs that alright as well, which is great. No, I think I was going to go around to the left, but actually I'll go around to the right, just because of the angle of this. And let's, uh, let's see how we get on. I don't want to take up too many hedges, not here anyway. It's quite nice being enclosed. Okay, right, lined it up. Let's see how we get on. Try and keep an eye on it as we go in. Oh, look at that. It's kind of lovely. That's doing a great job. I've right, got to watch where we go in. We don't really know the shape of this field, so... The last thing I want to do is hit a tree. No, this is pretty good. It's doing a good job. It's doing a really good job. Losing a little bit of traction here and there. But it is doing alright. Now, let's just make sure we don't hit that wall. Maybe we might be able to have a sneaky peek at what they're doing in there. 
Still standing around. What a surprise. Okay, right, we're not going to hit that wall now, which is good. Just see how far into this corner we can get. It's definitely losing a bit of traction. I probably should have asked them about putting some new tyres on this, to be honest. But then, past MOT, alright, so they can't be that bad. They do look a little bit cracked, though, if I'm honest with you. I think they were a bit lenient on that MOT. I think maybe it was a bit lenient. Oh, watch the lamppost. We don't want to damage our equipment. Especially because it's not ours. There we go. Right, this is pretty good. Shouldn't take us too long, I don't think. Let's just crack on with it. field looks. It actually looks pretty big now. It really does. So I've been thinking anyway just while doing this. It took me a good 45 minutes and it's just been quite nice really to get your head together. There's a lot going on. A lot's happened recently and you know it's just nice to have a bit of a thing. So the the field's just over there just behind the uh, the old barn which was burnt down. Um, that's probably not been planted with anything for a long time and it's going to need a little bit of work so I'm thinking maybe we just lease a cedar try and get something not too draining I guess really because this thing is kind of struggling with hills um, but yeah let's uh, let's put some sort of cover crop down or something just to fertilize the ground it does need a good weed um, because it's pretty covered in weeds so there's a couple of bits we can do and I guess you know we're, we're far from the position to start harvesting things but why not just try and restore some of the, the kind of nutrients to the ground so I think we need to look into that certainly a weeder uh, and then potentially some sort of slightly older cedar which this kind of old equipment can run now let's just switch that off a moment uh, because then once we've done that, we'll let it grow for a little bit. Again, no rush. We can probably look at uh, ploughing it all into the ground. Giving it a nice fresh start, to be honest, almost starting from scratch. I think that's uh, I think that's certainly what we need to consider. Meanwhile, we still need to think about what we're going to do up here. Because this building will be no more very soon. Let's just... Uh, I need to jump out anyway and just lift the old blades back up. But let's just uh, have a little peek over the uh, fence there and just see what traction they're making. I mean, those two over there seem to be pretty busy. They don't really move a lot. Maybe because it's close to the toilet. Don't know. Definitely stuff going on. I can hear chatter. I can hear a lot of construction work going. I don't want to get too close. Yeah, I can't see what that driver's doing in there, but 
I feel like this is going to be down pretty soon. Looks like they've already loaded some bits up into that truck. Yeah. It won't be there for much longer. That is for sure. Well, I'm actually pretty chuffed to bits with this uh, this car. It's pretty old, but it's done a pretty good job, you know. I'll have to have a chat with uh, old Mr. Javascus and see what he says. I mean, uh, 500 quid is still too much. We've got 500 quid. We can afford it, but that's just not realistic. The thing's like 50 years old. But now that it's had a good use, it you know, it's unseized. We, we'll have to have a think. Anyway, I'm glad uh, we cleared this out. It's a little bit easier to get into. Still pretty overgrown. But uh, that will do for a minute. He left it in undercover, so we'll make sure we do the same. Let's just unhook this a moment. And then I think we can probably pull the Zeta in alongside. Yeah. We do need to trim this area a bit. I mean, to be honest. Might be able to get rid of some of these trees here. Certainly that one. That one looks like quite a nice tree. Maybe we'll keep that one there. Wow, I'm, I'm pretty happy today. I'm pretty happy today. We, we've got quite a bit done. Tractors had an MOT and a service, running pretty smoothly. This area just looks great. It's just so much bigger. We're just going to have to sweet talk those uh, construction workers and see if we can get a little bit of gravel poured down here. That would be really good. Um, although, to be honest, we probably don't want that old brickwork. That's probably going to be far too big. But we'll have a think. Yeah, keeping the Range Rover down here tonight. These guys are alright. They've got a little bit of water. Looks like they want to go to sleep. Well, I'll, um, I'll see you soon, Nan and Grandad. Sorry, I'm getting your house pulled down. <laughs>